Good afternoon everybody, welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm in Pai, um, still in the north of Thailand. If you didn't already know, me and my boyfriend Stefan are currently travelling Southeast Asia. We're currently in Thailand and I have already uploaded three vlogs from my experience in Thailand so far. So if you do want to watch that and see what we've been up to, then you can go on my account and have a look at those. So we arrived in Pai today by minibus. We got on a minibus from... Chiang Mai and it took three or four hours to get here and we're staying in a lovely little place called the Countryside Pai. Everybody has like their own little hut house and it's obviously very cheap per night. I'll put the price per night on here. Obviously there's two of us to so explain to. Yeah, everything is really nice. We have a pool, there's a little pond outside. I'm just gonna show you around. It's obviously a mess already because we have put everything down. Now this is our little room, it's small but it's perfectly fine. Our little toilet and shower. This is our little hut from the outside. We're just next to this lake. And we also have a little balcony, which I'll show you. Very basic, just two chairs, but that'd be really nice to sit up on at night. And then over here is a pool, which I think Stefan is already in. Yeah, he's chilling in the pool. We've also got a bike. It cost um, 100 baht for 24 hours, which is nothing. I'll put the uh, pound price on screen. It will probably extend that rental for quite a few days because we're staying here for four nights. Um, everything seems pretty close driving distance, like 20 minutes driving, so we will need a ped. What, do a jump in now? No. This is our ped. Is this class of ped? I'm not sure. But it feels a little bit stronger than the one I drive in Zanti, so it is 125cc, which is scary for me. Mm. We've come to this um, Thai restaurant. Well, it's got a bit of everything on the menu, really. It's got pizzas, burgers, everything. Stefan's having a burger. I'm getting cow soy because I made cow soy in my cooking class and I was really good at it. So obviously it's going to be better made by somebody actually from Thailand. So I'm excited to have it. It was so good. We did drive here. It's not that far from our hostel, but I need to get used to the driving anyway. I didn't want to film while I was in there because it's kind of rude, but that was quite bad. My uh, expectations were high and I think it was because I'm a really good cook. Afternoon. I've just spent my entire morning editing the last video um, and it's not still not done but we was gonna try and go to tipsy tubing today if you don't know what it is search it it looks really fun but it's cancelled for three months so we're just gonna have a drive around on the ped and oh we've left our helmets inside and just see what we can do I want to go to the Pai Canyon I want to go to the bamboo bridge over the next few days and quite a lot more stuff so we still have loads to do anyway we've got a uh, smoked salmon cream cheese bagel this is my outfit of the day and you've got to walk all the way up there I'm already so excited <laughs> It costs um, nothing to actually go up here, but it costs 20 baht to rent the skirt and the cover for my shoulders. So today's itinerary so far is we've already gone to get breakfast, like you saw, which was expensive, but I think pie is quite expensive anyway compared to the rest of Thailand, um, just because it's like full of tourists and like very hippie vibes and stuff. Oh my God. I can't breathe. And then we've extended the ped for a day, 100 baht again, and we're gonna see the big Buddha, which we're at now, and the hot springs. What was the last one? 
and Pie Canyon for sunset, so that's going to be fun. Probably won't see the best sunset because it has been cloudy recently. We've made it to the top. Mm. Now we're both too tired to even have a proper look. Stefan, look. come to Pie Hot Springs, I think it's called Ta Pie Hot Springs and as you walk along there is pools that go up by one degree each time so we started in 33 degrees um, and now we're in 34 degrees and it is like this is how I like my bath water so I don't really know how I'm gonna go much further because it is really hot. Stefan's loving it. <laughs> this cost 300 baht to enter, so that's um, this watch in pounds. 750. Is it 750? Have you looked? So it's quite expensive, but like I said a minute ago, everything in Pi seems quite expensive. Like clothes are more expensive, food's more expensive, alcohol. The accommodation was no more expensive. Uh, the accommodation was still like six to seven pounds a night. So yeah, this one's 34 degrees, and then this one was 33 and so on, and then this way, we can see up to 36, but I think it goes on further than that. This guy. Oh, is he coming up? Good, is he dead? No, he's not dead. I don't know what he's doing though. This is where I think the proper hot springs begin. They were just maybe a warm up. I don't know. Look at the steam coming off of this. This pool, you're not allowed in it. It's 80 degrees Celsius. It's like a kettle. It says that uh, rainfall goes down through the rocks and it reaches temperatures that turns it to steam. Steam rises, cooling slightly, and then the hot water is pushed up to the surface and that creates water 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. And then where the water collects, that's what the hot springs are. Stinky sweaty boy. Just down in the shower and uh, water. It says here, do not boil your eggs. Please and thank you. We've left the hot springs. I don't want to be negative, but if anybody asks me would I recommend going to the hot springs, I'd probably say no, but I did hear about one that's further away. I'll put the name on the screen if I can remember it. And it is cheaper and better apparently like more less tourists are there and yeah apparently it's better we want to go to Pie Canyon to see the sunset and we're a little bit early because obviously we thought we'd spend a bit longer at the springs but we didn't so we're at this market and we've just found these North Face hats that we really liked like the ones that come out with the tie under the chin I don't know maybe we will still get one in Pie or somewhere else but they were really good copies and I don't know, I, I think I look really cute in it. <laughs> we're walking up to Pike Canyon. More uphill. I'm sick of uphill today. <laughs> you can do it. Huh? <laughs> Stefan's come round a different way and this guy's just helping him find his path to get up here. He's gone back because he didn't want to do it. 
but at least he tried. You can kind of see him there. I think this little bit of pink is all the sunset that we're going to be getting tonight. So I might make my way back before it gets dark, get on the ped and go home. <laughs> The jungle party, but it's cancelled. We're gonna go to another party instead. The jungle party is on, and we're doing it. We was waiting for taxis to go to like a substitute party, and I can't see anything, stuff, and I'm just gonna wait here. And basically, we bought a ticket like on the side of the road, and then got in a random taxi, and then we're here apparently at the jungle party. like all morning it's now four past four we've extended the ped again and we've come to more pan waterfall it's a cool waterfall it's a hundred baht to come in i've got a bikini top on as a bra but i have not brought any bikini pants i don't know if you can see that but people can um, slide down the side of the waterfall like you can slide down this bit neither of us have got proper swimwear we've not actually been in the waterfall it's too much not hot enough to dry off naturally today. We've come to a, a place called Santi Chuan Village on the ped, also known as the Chinese Village. And it's like all Chinese inspired stalls and they sell Chinese clothing and sweets and wines and stuff like that. <laughs> On then. Whoa! You have to pull it all the way back to the metals on the end. Probably better than your score. Well, I got nine. You've got two on the floor and three. What was that? Right. Don't know how to hold the gun. On my shoulder. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. No. No? Yeah. Okay. How did that happen? Concentration face. <laughs> I'm getting all there, weren't I? Yeah. This is a little village. They've got archery shooting, like you just saw. Uh, sort of, I don't know what that is, uh, right in front, like the castle looking thing. Got horse riding for kids. Stefan's just bought some fish food in this little bag. Oh, look at them all. Oh my god, that's literally hitting my leg. Look at the size of him, there. Oh my god, yeah, that's huge. There's one in there that is literally... Their lips are so funny. <laughs> These outfits are so stunning. The lady a minute ago who I showed pouring the tea gave me two tea samples. Um, and they're actually really nice. I wish I could have some, but I can't really be taking bulky things in my backpack. It was oolong. Oolong green and red, I think.
cool though, isn't it? Yeah. I like the mountains. Nice. We've come to get some food. I really fancy something very basic and carby today. So I've got tomato spaghetti. Stefan's got chicken and chips. Put, put, put the camera on me. Rest of it's not fun. When have you ever been to a restaurant and got a spoon to eat chicken nuggets with? Very good. Might have been for your sauce. What, am I going to scoop the sauce up? Yeah. This looks amazing. Stefan's got his chips now. Chip boy. I've just been 7 Eleven for the millionth time this trip. Got these waffle crisps, they look so good. And Red Bull, because it's needed. Stefan's got cheesy chips and gravy at Cafe de Pie. That looks banging. <laughs> Today is just going to be a chill day for us. We've seen everything we want to see. One of our days was meant to be tipsy tubing, so that sort of wrote off a day for us. Luckily, we have a pool to chill in. We've both got packets of noodles from 7 Eleven for like seven bucks, so we've got a cheap dinner tonight. Um, obviously, we had the chips earlier. Stefan got them because we both love cheesy chips and gravy, but the chips were like kind of hard, like boiled potatoes. So it weren't that great, but. A little taste of um, home cheese chips and gravy. He's back from getting his snacks. Is that rain? Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like I'm just that. gonna start chucking it down. I hope so. I, lo I really like the sound. Cool. I thought it was coming through a minute ago because I could feel it, but now I can't feel anything. I don't think now that it's heavier. Oh, I can a little bit. Maybe because it's coming this way, I can't feel any. So it might be coming from that way. We've come inside because it's tricking it down. It's getting cold. We're just eating noodles and I've got um, some kind of tea. And I'm going to end the vlog here. Yeah, thank you very much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in the next vlog which will be Chiang Rai.